Universe is your sandbox. I'm here with Sean Murray, the founder of Hello Games, to fill us in on No Man's Sky. Sean, it's uh, been fun to be on this journey with you uh, for No Man's <laughs> Sky over the past few years. We last saw you at the Game Awards, uh, and you were just on stage with Sony showing uh, live code for the first time, right? I mean, you were yeah. playing No Man's Sky. Yeah, it was cool. It was like the most nerve-wracking thing in the world yeah. to do that. Uh, never, yeah, never thought I'd have the nerve for it, but, but you it had, was good. You had space pirates, you had the uh, <laughs> entire galaxy in front of us, and we also got to see a little bit of combat on yeah. the ground, too. Yeah, yeah, that's the first time we've kind of shown off some of those elements. We just wanted yeah. to show people how it plays, a little taste right. of it, at least. It's, it's a difficult game to just do a quick demo for, because yeah. it's a big sandbox, right. uh, and that was a big problem for us. But, yeah, I think Hopefully, people got a sense of it. That's a piece of it, of it. and now uh, we're lucky enough for those of you watching that Sean's brought some more footage with us that will uh, that you didn't see in the press conference that will take right. you through a little bit more of uh, No Man's Sky and some of the uh, the planets and levels. So, you know, one so thing that are, people see this, I think sometimes they have a hard time realizing that you can literally go anywhere you want, right? I mean, right. you're in the ship, but you look at a planet and you can literally fly down to that planet. You can land. You can get out. Yeah. And explore, right? Yeah, that's right. And yeah. that's all procedural, right? Yeah, that's the only way we can do it. I mean, yeah. we're a really small team. That's the thing that yeah. is hard to get across. Is like yeah. we were sat backstage with Naughty Dog and Media Molecule right. and like our, you know, Yu Suzuki, like our right. absolute heroes. And yeah, we're just a small group, and and that's the only way this is this is possible for us. Well, it's 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 possible, and it's also just absolutely beautiful um, when you explore these okay. planets. And you know, every planet is unique, as you said as you go through the game. And look, I mean, there's just these cool new creatures that we're seeing for the first time and whatnot. Um, yeah, and for me, there's a cool thing there. Like, we're, we'll be showing off to press and stuff, and, right. and I get a little kick every time we land somewhere new and see right. something new. And it's nice as what a developer are those things? to have are, like, that. Like little dinosaur things, or what are yeah, they? Yeah, just some creatures. <laughs> just, so you need names for these creatures, Yeah, I right? know. Well, you that's, what we have to, that's what we have people for. So people yeah. are going to go out, explore right. the universe, find creatures, and, and name them, give them names. and. Uh, you know, backstories and things like that, and exactly. they'll find planets and name them. And that Hopefully could be a creature not. that's unique to me, right? It's only in right. my game? Yeah, exactly. Wow. Now and this it's is the same for, you know, we even showed weapons yep. um, on the ground. Those are procedural, too. The ships yeah. are procedural. Wow. Freighters and stuff, the space stations, yeah. Right, and you show this, I mean, this amazing kind of galactic map where you're literally, you see this, but this is someone actually kind of flying through the galaxy? Yeah, yeah, just this is your way of navigating around. So, right. like I was showing, you know, when you select a star, yeah. there's only so many around it that you can go to with your right. hyperdrive, so you are limited by that on stage. Right. I'm the developer, so I can kind of go anywhere. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you can at any time kind of browse around and, right. and plot your path towards the center of the universe. Yeah, and the thing is, every time you show it, it's like, you know, the art is so beautiful, yet, as you said, every time it's unique, because uh, there's just incredible flowers, incredible animals. How, when you find these things, how do you share them with the world? I mean, it's like I find a cool creature how, and, yeah. I, and I want to share it with someone. And How do I make sure that I can share that? Well, the game we're making, I guess, is like, you know, we're on YouTube. It's a, it's a game for that kind of YouTube generation, yeah. right? Like, I mean, this has been a big thing for me as a gamer to create unique experiences for right. people and yeah. then they want to share them. And right. we're, we're kind of blessed now, whether it's like PS4, console, PC, yeah. or whatever, yeah. that's a really easy thing to do. Right. You know, people will be recording videos of this stuff, people will be sharing it online, yeah. um, but also within the game, you can, like everything that you discover, every right. creature that you discover, that's tracked, yeah. and it's stored kind of in your like... Encyclopedia. Yeah, your encyclopedia, yeah. your Pokedex, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you can go and browse through those at any time. So can time. I go and browse your Pokedex? Uh, no, but okay. uh, you can upload what right. you found, okay. you can name what you found, okay. and then I can see that through your, through your kind of I can of be sharing. jealous of the beautiful creature that I yeah. can't get into my game. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, I mean, the planets are just absolutely beautiful, and you see, I mean, how this all maps together. Now, tell me about combat. You know, you have that sort of gun, so, or what, I don't know what it's called, the yeah, it's transponder like a, device. It's like a multi-tool, basically, a multi -tool, because you okay. use it for, like I'll show you, use it for mining. Yeah. Uh, it's actually how you scan as well, is okay. through that. Yeah. Um, and you use it for combat. Okay. Right. And you can upgrade that, um, but you can also find new ones. Right. New ones have different abilities, different technologies that will be installed. Um, but that's kind of your suit, your ship, and your weapon is kind of like your RPG stats, basically. You know, those things are uh, are your character, really, right. and kind of how you progress through the game. 
Now, combat, I mean, how important is that? Are you ever going to be in combat with other players or in combat with creatures, or how does that play out? Um, so you can, uh, you can kill creatures if yep. you want, um, and <laughs> I'm sure people will. Oh, uh, you know, Pete, talking about fun YouTube videos. It's like, yeah. can I get rid of every little creature on this planet? <laughs> I'm sure people will. Yes. Um, but if you do, um, then like I showed uh, on stage, the same as like mining resources too heavily, then that will draw attention to you. So we have these kind of robotic race, the sentinels yeah. who will, you know, who are policing and protecting the planets. Yeah. Um, so that draws you. Very it's a nice little one. game loop. It draws you. Into... Go kill that creature, Sean. Come on. <laughs> How That's many bullets does do. it take? That's no? not what I do. You're too nice. <laughs> yeah. Well, this looks incredible, and we're so excited that uh, you know the small team at Hello Games. We've had a special relationship with you guys, and it's nice to see yeah. the game continue to well, progress. You, you introduced it to everyone. Wow. Well, no, we're uh, you know now the, it's the world to embrace and love, <laughs> yeah. and it's cool that uh, you know as people have wondered what is the game. You showed that tonight, and people yeah. got to uh, check it out. I'm looking forward to to going hands on this week to uh, have my own No Man's Sky yeah, experience. I'm going go. to create my creature. I'm going to find a creature, and then I'll tweet it out, and yeah, we'll, come, okay. we'll come up with a okay. name together, right? And you can kill it, then. I will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is the kill animation for a creature? Is it just lying there dead? Is there blood? Well, there, uh, there can be different types of blood, yeah. <laughs> um, procedural blood? Procedural blood. They have procedural ragdolls and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Be very sad to see my little creature. <laughs> Sean, great to see you, man. Thanks Thank so you for much, coming Jeff. by. Congrats on uh, No Man's Sky. Of course, we'll be following that, and uh, Hello Games will be uh, sharing more about it throughout the week. All right, uh, Jackie, what are people saying on the social medias right now? The social medias are saying there's a lot of love for No Man's Sky, so let's turn to the E3 buzz and see what that love is. Uh, when No Man's Sky comes out, I'm just going to go to one planet and attack people who approach it. This is Filtopia. Maybe that can be our next hashtag. What would your planet be called? Send it to us at hashtag YouTube E3. Uh, Chris Carpizin, sorry. Uh, it says, No Man's Sky is a console seller for me. I've always wanted a game like this. Been salivating since it was first announced. Uh, we've also been tracking all of your general E3 buzz now that all the conferences are over for the day. Atticus Lee says, I'm biased with Sony, but looking at all the games at E3 with an artist's eye and trying to be unbiased, it was an amazing and great day for games. Get good. Uh, Shenmue 3, Final Fantasy 7, and Last Guardian all in one conference? Are we sure someone didn't sneak some fan fiction into Sony's teleprompter? I know, dreams do come true all in one day. And uh, man, -de -may oh, man Made Baka, there we go. Uh, I think uh, the best thing I heard from E3 was the HoloLens for Minecraft. Just one more thing to count down for. And then Flea said, I think this is the general consensus for the day. I'm going to have to take out a loan to pay for all of the games I want from E3 this year. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what is Oh, no, there's some more. To oh, there you go. It is a general consensus. I think I need to work harder or steal me a bank. I need money for all of this product. And then Karen and Steven say the last Guardian demo and the Final Fantasy uh, 7 remake trailer were so damn epic. And two of the reasons why E3 2015 is seriously kick-ass. And I think that can be mutually agreed upon. All right, looking at the top trends right now, pretty much all day long, Star Wars Battlefront at the top. No Man's Sky, very had a very big jump to the top. Last Guardian, everyone's stoked on that because really no one ever thought it was actually going to come. Batman Arkham Knight, Unravel, Kingdom of Hearts, and Xenoblade Chronicles still trailing at the end. So now we're going to send it back to Jeff, and he's with my home team, Destiny.